Morning everybody, welcome to another Quick Hits Review. It is Wednesday the 4th of December and we do have some news that is out today. Uh, particularly pay attention to some uh, dollar news that we have out at quarter past one, non-farm employment change, expect some movement there. We have some CAD news out at three o'clock, uh, rate statement, overnight rates as well. Um, do have uh, some dollar news out at that time and uh, pay attention to these as well. Uh, Thursday morning, 12 o'clock, midnight for me, uh, the New Zealand and the Aussie. We have news out for both of them. Both of those pairs will be thin during those times and do expect big moves and high rates at those times so certainly for me I would not be in any lower time frame trades and I would personally be awake to manage those trades so the way I manage them is I would extend my stop loss and my targets by 50 pips 100 pips to ensure that the uh, the, the rate change the increase in fees doesn't stop me out and I'll be manually ready to exit the trade if required that's how I would manage them uh, but I'm not in any of those trades so uh, nothing there for me. So uh, not too much on the radar, not compared to the other day. Uh, quick hit video is going to be very, very similar this morning, but I'm going to just run through uh, a few things that I'm looking at here. So again, apologies if the sound isn't quite good. I'm still working from the laptop and will be for several more weeks and I'm working from Wi-Fi. So again, no live rooms. I did listen to the last quick hit review video and I did hear the sound had cut out a few times. So apologies simply due to the internet. Uh, let's uh, let's go down to a few things that I was looking at. Take a look at um, no, not ready for that today. Okay, Euro pound. Going to go back out to the daily. <coughs> I did mention in the last quick hit review video. Watch out for the Euro pound. So, uh, go back to it and go back to the dailies. Okay, as you can see, we are still pushing lower here, guys. So in particular, pay attention to this 1618. Uh, the RSI, unfortunately, is nowhere near going over bought here. <clears throat> so I will drop down one time frame lower and look for that double bottom or that head and shoulders. Uh, it's a shame we don't have a falling channel here. But pay attention for this AB equals CD pattern coming into structure. Uh, pound yen, pound yen is playing out nicely. I told you I'm in this very large breakout pattern. Well, playing out nicely. I'm up quite a few pips, but it's an absolutely huge trade. Um, <clears throat> if I drop down to the 240, I was also in this AB equals CD pattern on a different account. I have now been stopped out for break even. So thank you very much for stopping me out. Just here, we came just a few pips from targets, it rallied up, and boom, it then came and hit my target. So it stopped me out for break even, 60 odd pips, absolutely typical. It did that on the pound Aussie for like 120 pips as well. That's the way it goes sometimes, guys, and other times it just rallies and hits. Uh, pound dollar I spoke about, looking for the breakout. Look at what we're doing, guys, we are getting the breakout. This is where, let me zoom out, do I, yep. Okay, we still have room here to go. I'm in this trade as well. I uh, still have 184 pips to go. I'm going to drop down to the 60 minute time frame. You can see we're breaking out nicely. And this is a key area just here. So, personally, I love to drop down to the 15 minute on these higher time frame trades and really look for the trend. Uh, just wait for us a pullback here, guys. Wait for a pullback wherever it may be. Wait for a pull. Sorry, guys, I'm using my wrong uh, shortcuts here. Not used the laptop for a while. There we go. Wait for those pullbacks. Get involved with the trend. That was pound dollar, pound yen, pound Aussie. Pound Aussie is. I'm, I'm in this on a few accounts. It managed to give me another entry. Remember, I talked about this in the last quick hit review video. Uh, Sorry guys, my internet is slow because it's Wi-Fi, so I can't do the live trades, uh, the live rooms. Just delete some of these a little bit. You can see 150 pips up at the moment on this account. Uh, I am more on another account. <clears throat> Hopefully if this hits on this account, it will generate roughly uh, 370 pips, something like that. I've had some very big winners lately, guys. Um, that terrible drawdown I was in over summer got wiped out. 
couple of months ago, uh, and I'm well into profit. Um, and that's the way it goes sometimes. Um, but that was a very big drawdown for me. What I'm going to do in this instance is drop down and show you why I got involved on another account here. So guys, here on the 240, we have this entire level of consolidation just here. Entire level of consolidation right here. So, <clears throat> we did double top up here. So for me, technically, we cannot get involved with a long trade because we double top. However, we have a very large flag pattern that still has not hit the 127. And I know, I know the probability of that trade going on to win is around 65% in this situation. And that, for me, overrode or overrides this double top. Because I'm looking at this as just consolidation. And what happened is we actually came down to the very lows of the wicks just here. We tapped the over... Uh, the oversold area and we put in a higher high higher close um, and then after that we put in a rejection candle so if we look here what's classed as a rejection candle well this one it has a very long wick and we closed uh, right at the top of the upper part of the wick an indication there's more buying than selling pressure and then I got involved slightly after that I had a nice place for stops, which was below this 189 psychological number. So, guys, there's, uh, that's what I used for the entry there. Stops 50 pips below that psychological number, getting me right below this entire area. But the trade is not over, guys. We are rallying. Drop down to your 15-minute time frame. I'll just look how slow this uh, this, tra this uh, <coughs> computer is because it's on Wi-Fi. So look at the directional movement and look at what we have done here directional move and then we have seen a pause and now we're pushing higher again so wait for exactly the same thing wait for move higher the pullback the move higher the pullback typically we do enter trend on these higher time frame trades uh, the pound is really where all the trades are for me <coughs> Go and take a look at something else. I don't think I had anything else. Now New Zealand. <clears throat> yeah, I'll, I'll go over this. This is an absolutely huge trade, and it's not really offering me any type of uh, way to get involved. But what I was, I have been looking at for a long, long time was this butterfly pattern. I'll show you this now. X to A, A to B. Hit the 786. B to C. CD completion was up here, and it has not as yet hit the 382, and I've been looking for a long time to get involved with this trade. It's just price hasn't been moving in a way that would allow me to do that. So as you can see, price is uh, over halfway towards its targets, and if we were moving directionally, I would look on the lower time frame again to get involved with trend. Uh, it is not doing that, however, it doesn't mean that all of a sudden we're not going to see a big jump to the downside here and we can enter trend. Just to show you how many pips are still up for grabs here, guys, 420, okay, lots and lots and lots. Uh, there is the potential when this happens to look at things like this where we see trend line structure, okay, so you can see we've had one, two, three we're coming up for a fourth touch here that fourth touch just so happens to come in at, at around the 121 comes in at the 2.0100 psychological number drop down the time frames you can look aggressively for something like a three bar reversal or look for something uh, which is less aggressive like a confirmed double top or a head and shoulders let's drop down to the 60 minute time frame See if it's uh, see if we have anything like the RSI starting to go oversold, something like that. Come on, 60. Okay, we'll just give this a minute to update. Uh, any type of entry there, if you don't get it, as mentioned, yeah, as you can see here, 81. So the RSI is going oversold there. Uh, and really look for an entry at this point if you can't get it. Let's see if we start moving directionally. Lots and lots of pips still up for grabs there. But beware that we do have that New Zealand news out this evening. Uh, New Zealand dollar. 
New Zealand dollar was a massive head and shoulders and it actually hit my target um, yesterday. Again, I don't have the video because it's on my computer. Um, I think that's all I had. Oh, pound CAD. Pound, pound CAD, guys. Pound CAD hit 214 pips. Where well, hey, I will have the video for it as soon as my computer hits the UK. <laughs> um, this is this was a lovely trade, guys. Would you do me a favour if you're in the if you're in the chat system, just type in the chat, Chris. I was involved in the trade. I was with you, mate. I banked the 200 pips as well, and I'll be I'll be giving you a round of applause. So as you can see, proof is in the pudding. These trades do work. Remember, guys, I got involved at this retest just down here, this three-bar reversal just down here. I will zoom in just so that you can see it. Lovely, beautiful three-bar reversal, hold of structure, uh, very, very nice there, which, uh, which I will add to the um, trading system, the log system that's on the website, as soon as I have proof of it. So uh, other than that, then, guys, uh, yeah, pay attention to the pound pairs and wish me good luck on the pound Aussie, this thing is rallying. Uh, it would be nice to see this thing continue to rally, uh, though I don't know if it will. We've already, for the daily candle, seen quite a big move, so we may just hold, but we may not. With the news that's out, we just may just see this thing rally another 100 pips, which would be very nice in time for Christmas. Other than that, guys, be safe trading. Um, I will try to be on the um, on the platform today, but this morning at 8.30, 30 minutes ago, I had to take uh, the car into the mechanics. Uh, I bought a, a cheap, well, relatively cheap car, a Chevrolet Activia, Activia uh, and it's come up with engine problems. So uh, that's my car for the UK. I needed it for the houses that I'm buying, and there's a problem with it, so that's now gone in <laughs> for uh, work so I may need to pick that up this afternoon if not might be tomorrow so uh, I may not be on as much as I would like but apart from that guys I will catch up with you soon and uh, just tell me what you've been up to post it in the chat will you so that I can reply when I do log on next